In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a corpus by uploading your own data. Once you've created a corpus, it will appear here in the My Corpora table at the bottom half of the screen uh, once you've logged into the Sketch Engine. So the first thing you do is click on the Create Corpus button on the left hand side and you'll be faced with the option to create a corpus ID. This is a unique identifier of your corpus. It can only contain letters, numbers, underscores and hyphens, so you can't put any spaces in there. In this example, I'm going to call my corpus Guitar Web Demo because I'm going to create a corpus about guitars because I'm interested in the guitar and I like to play it in my free time. Corpus name is uh, an optional a piece of information that you can put in there. It's the name of your corpus as it will appear in the My Corpora list that I've just shown you. So I'm going to call My Corpus Guitar Corpus. This information box here, um, it's, it gives you the option to add any more information that's appropriate for the corpus. Uh, in this box I'm going to write this is the info speech bubble and I'll explain that to you um, in a couple of minutes once we've created the corpus and language here you also have to specify the language of your corpus as you can see there are many 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 languages to choose from uh, but I'm going to stick with English and then we click next so you can see here the corpus ID the corpus name the info this is the info speech bubble and the language which I've chosen, uh, that's English. The configuration template is the next thing that you choose. I'm going to go for tree tagger for English. There are other options. If you want any more detailed information about what the configuration templates are, um, how they work, etc., you can find all of that information in the help pages of the Sketch Engine. Alternatively, I will make a video which explains um, again what the configuration templates are and how you use them and how they differ but for now we'll go for the tree tagger for English option as the default option there's an also an option here to configure your own template but we won't talk about that in this video but this is just a basic overview video so then we click next now the final step is for you to choose the sketch grammar the sketch grammar here I've chosen the English Pen TB Tree Tagger 2.2. That's because it's the most recently updated uh, sketch grammar for English. I've chosen that uh, just as a default option. Again, if you want any more uh, detailed information about the sketch grammars, what they are um, and what they do uh, to the data, you can read about that again in the help pages. Alternatively, I will be making a video soon um, explaining what the sketch grammars are uh, more in depth. Um, there's also an option here to create your own, but again, we won't go into that uh, in this video. And then we click finish. Uh, so there we go, the corpus has been created. Corpus created successfully a uh, guitar corpus. So this here is the corpus. Um, we've not yet added any files or data to it, but we'll do that now. In this video, as I said, it's a video showing how you can create a corpus by uploading data that's already on your computer. Uh, to do that, you click Add New File. Uh, just briefly, uh, other options, uh, other ways you can add data to the corpus is to use data from the web using Web Bootcat, but that uh, will be uh, shown in a different video. So we'll add a new file. Um, here there are a number of different ways that you can add the files. You can upload your file from a disk by selecting uh, this button. You can download from a location, use file or directory on the server, um, for that you need to have uh, special access. Or you can paste the text if you select this button and, and, and just pop your text in that box. I'm going to upload a file from disk. So I uh, pop the, uh, the button in there and click choose file um, because I have a file in here um, acoustic guitar corpus I want to add that to my guitar corpus 
the file is a plain text file. Um, that's uh, the, the .txt file is compatible with the sketch engine, so I'm going to choose that. I then click next, and I will see that already uh, my file has been added successfully. So acoustic guitar corpus .txt has been added to my guitar corpus. Um, here in the file type option, you you specify the um, the file type for the the file that you've just uploaded to your corpus. So I'll click plain text, and you can also select the character encoding. Um, UTF-8 is compatible with all languages, so I'm going to go with that for now. Um, and then I click finish. So there we go. I've got my corpus that's called Guitar Corpus, and I've added my file, uh, which is called Acoustic Guitar Corpus and that has 710 tokens. Now before I can start using my data and, and querying my guitar corpus I have to compile my corpus by clicking on the compile corpus button. Here again um, I have the option to select my sketch grammar um, so I've picked English Pen TB Tree Tagger 2.2 um, this gives me some options uh, to uh, remove duplicates and things like that. I'm just going to leave it as it is now um, and compile it. So here we can see that the corpus is busy compiling the sketch grammars and uh, to the data. Uh, this um, will allow me to use the word sketch and the thesaurus functions in the sketch engine. Once the processing has done, um, click OK. And you'll come back to this screen again, um, but now you can see that there's a link here uh, to open the corpus in the sketch engine. Here we are, we're in the corpus, um, we can see that because it says guitar corpus there. And this is the what we call the entry form for the concordance function. So if I uh, search for the word acoustic, I can draw up a concordance from the file that I've just uploaded in my guitar corpus corpus. Uh, so here we go. It was only it was only a small file with I think 710 tokens, and there are eight hits of uh, my uh, search term. So in this video, I've shown you how you can create a corpus by uploading files uh, from your computer. I've shown you how you can select the um, sketch grammars and how you can compile the sketch grammars in the corpus. And I've shown you how you can open your corpus in the sketch engine uh, to show it in this table. Now, at the beginning, um, there was an information box where I could put information about my corpus. And that's revealed when you click on this information speech bubble, as I like to call it. So if you just hover over, it says get more information about the corpus and when you click that I've written there this is the info speech bubble so when you put information into that info box it will appear when you click this and I've demonstrated that by um, writing uh, this statement here so there you are um, that is how you create a corpus by uploading your files to the sketch engine thank you for watching this video and I welcome any questions that you may have about corpus uh, compilation using the sketch engine.